Vigo Wave Point to Point Rapid Fire. The Rapid Fire is a 5 GHz carrier grade backhaul device. It comes in two models, a 523 with a 23 dB integrated antenna, as well as a connectorized version. Included are two gigabit Ethernet ports, one dedicated for PoE in and one configurable as PoE out or a data port. The power is a 48 volt standard 802.3 AF. Included is a metal sturdy bracket with up to 124 millimeter diameter for a wide pole. Also, a removable handle is included for easy carry up a tower. On the outside of the device, there's a multifunction button that allows for checking the signal level, waking up the 2.4 management radio, as well as resetting to defaults. Software features are a easy setup wizard, centralized control, QoS, dual firmware image, as well as the ability to set up the device using the 2.4 GHz management radio. Using the 2.4 GHz management radio allows you to configure the device using your laptop or tablet or smartphone wirelessly. Another option is to use the device discovery by connecting the device directly to your computer, turning on your device discovery, and double-clicking on the device to configure. Your initial configuration screen allows for flexibility to either use the wizard-guided setup or a manual setup. There are parameters that are both global and individual. The global parameters are pushed down from the master device, and those include link ID, the frequency, the channel size, and the system password, which is 128-bit. When configuring the devices, these maps show the different ways to connect the devices in order to, for your initial configuration. Once the devices are linked up, there is centralized management from your information screen. On the same screen, you have the serial number, the current status of the device, as well as IP addresses. When you click on the device for the centralized management, the configuration for the different individual parameters will pop up for the remote device. This allows you to configure these without having to log directly into that device, but do it centrally from the master device. Under the Information Statistics section, statistics are provided to help monitor performance. Additionally, graphs are also provided to monitor performance in a graphical format. Under the Configuration Traffic section is where you're able to enable your speed limitations as well as turn on and configure your QoS setting. The Rapid Fire QoS is hardware based so no extra load is on the CPU. There are four priority queues for different traffic types. Through the configuration services, the services available are time and date, management, management wireless of the wireless interface, system alerts, SNMP, and WNMS settings. Built-in tools are site survey, antenna alignment, link test, spectrum analyzer, and ping and trace. Through the maintenance section, you can update your firmware, reboot the device, reset the device to factory settings, and back up and restore your configuration. There is also an option to back up a specific file just for your slave device. This is where there are two versions of your firmware listed. The dual firmware is listed as a backup firmware and an active firmware. You can activate the other firmware by clicking the activate button to revert back to or change forward to a newer version. When you're updating the firmware, you have the option to update the firmware for just one device or update the firmware for both devices. If needing additional assistance, support files are built directly into the system. Go to the section for support and click download the troubleshooting file. 
Send files from both devices to support at LegalWave.com. This will help the support staff resolve your issues faster. Technical support is available Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. Email support at support at LegalWave.com for additional help. Thank you so much for supporting the LegalWave product line.